Hey everybody, it's Jake with the DIA guys and here I'm in the 2006 F250 6-liter power stroke and I uh, got a water in the fuel indicator light in the dash. I'll show the indicator light uh, or the message and what it looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go through the procedure to drain the water out of the water fuel separator underneath the truck so that we can get this, this message removed. Alright, it's a pretty easy process, doesn't take much time. All you need is an Allen wrench, uh, and I'll go over the size of the Allen wrench because I don't, honestly I don't know what it is, I'll have to figure it out, and a drain pan. And what I've done is I've actually put the truck on a pretty level surface um, just to make sure that the, the fuel and the water that's in this little reservoir that we're draining out will completely drain from the truck, okay? So I'm gonna show the indicator uh, on the dash, and then we're gonna go underneath the truck. I'll show you where the, where the bolt is that you need to remove and uh, we'll go through the process of removing it and and get this thing cleared away so here we go all right so this is the message that you're going to see in the dash pretty simple it won't come up as soon as you start the truck but after driving it for a little bit this is what you'll see and then water and the fuel will come up in the in the message center so that's that's your that's your indication that you need to to go drain this this plug okay so here we are under the truck and we're underneath the driver's side where the radius arm mounts to the to the frame rail and that's where you'll find uh, what we're looking for here the drain plug so here you can see um, right there that black cap that's your your fuel filter cap and over here to the right there's the drain plug um, that we need to remove now if you look we're gonna have to get some allen wrenches now, we can't use any t-style allen wrenches we have to use the l style so that's what we're going to do. We're going to work on finding the right size Allen wrench here. We're going to get this bolt removed, this plug removed, and we're going to drain the, the water. All right, so here's the Allen wrench installed in the plug, and it ends up it's a 6 millimeter Allen wrench. Um, that's, that's what fits here. So I'm going to loosen this plug up, give me a good drain pan up underneath here, and uh, get all this stuff drained out of the, um, the truck. All right, so as you can see, I got the plug out. Here's a plug here, it's got an O-ring on it, um, right here. So what I'm gonna do is take and clean this O-ring and this plug up really good. And I'm just gonna let this thing um, drain for as long as I can into, into my trusty drain pan there. And once it's all clean, we'll put it back in and we'll go and start the truck and see what we got. All right, so there's the plug reinstalled. We got it all, plug all cleaned up. It actually had a little bit of corrosion on the bottom of it, so we Clean the plug up, check the O-ring, inspected it, making sure it was in good shape, and I uh, got the plug reinstalled. So let's get the truck cranked back up, and let's check for the uh, the, the message again. All right, I'm ready. Crank it up. All right, so in the cab, we've been letting it run for a little bit, and check for leaks, no leaks message is gone so this little project's done all right so this has been jake with the dia guys hope this video was helpful for you if you get the water and fuel light indicator on your ford um, six liter diesel truck uh, really easy process to get that plug pulled and get the, the water drained out of the system so hope it was helpful to you guys and we'll catch you on the next video see you guys bye